Over the years, uh, I, I've given a lot of programs about what is Blandford Nature Center. And uh, uh, when I would talk, I'd say, well, you know, we're, we're trying to add to our property. And I think our last major land conquest is going to be the Highlands Golf Course. And I would laugh and the audience would laugh. No, that was ever, never going to happen. And then one day, Jason called me all excited and he said, guess what? The Highlands is sort of up for grabs. And I about climbed through the telephone. Highlands is 121 acres of open land within the city limits of Grand Rapids. And of course, from a naturalist point of view, we look at that not as greens and uh, cultivated areas and so forth, but as a natural area to be appreciated and used by all our citizens. This project only happened because of a unique collaboration between the Land Conservancy of West Michigan and Blanford Nature Center. So we were able to bring two organizations together that have slightly different missions in a project that amplifies what we both do. Since partnering with Blanford on this, we've had an opportunity to start looking at plans to develop this and turn it from a historical, long-standing golf course into a beautiful nature center. As you can see from looking around here, Mother Nature has done her job. She's already begun to transform a landscape that consists of some beautiful grasses, over 32 types of native trees, into a wonderful area for exploration. Right now, what we have done is essentially laid out fairly carefully about 2.2 miles of hiking trails, which is now open to the public from sunrise to sunset. We are going to develop uh, a more sophisticated trail system which will allow folks out here with disabilities. This is actually a, a two-phase project. So phase one is literally paying off the mortgage that we had to take out to acquire the property, as well as doing some basic land management. So keeping invasive species at bay, doing some rudimentary habitat management to showcase what we'll be doing in phase two, which is when we take the community feedback that we've gotten and start to develop a plan and implement it related to new trails, um, new habitat types like tall grass prairie and short grass prairie, which is gone from most of Michigan. So we're actually putting habitat back that hasn't been seen here for hundreds of years. And then, you know, over time there may be some structures like a pavilion for educational experiences as well as for families to come out and enjoy a picnic together. There will be opportunities out here for folks to do a lot of things that they might not otherwise have the chance to do. We are seven minutes from downtown Grand Rapids, right here on the northwest side of Grand Rapids. We're on a bus line right here on Leonard Street so people can get here. The access is incredible. I have to say I've been out here quite a bit since we opened this up and the community response has been overwhelmingly positive. They've come out here with families, they've had picnics, they've brought their children out here, they've walked their pets and with some additional community input we're going to transform this into something that I think will be a really unique opportunity for all of Grand Rapids to get involved in and jump on board with. So I really hope that the community sees the value of green space like this and understands that had Blanford not been able to step in with the Land Conservancy and acquire this property, it would literally be turning into a housing development right now. So we were able to save that property from development for future generations. This is a project that could take decades to fully realize. So the, the seeds that we're planting today, we may not see until I come back with my grandkids decades from now.